on the next step. I don't know who this Michelle girl is, but she's amazing. Welcome back. Oh my God, I feel like I haven't done this in so long. I don't remember how to talk. <laughs> Anyways, last week I posted a community tab asking you guys what kinds of videos you want to see me do because it's been a while since I've been on YouTube. Some of you guys said vlogs, some of you guys said Q&A, majority of people said you don't care. Um, and then, and then the other like 50, 70, 99% of you said TNS reaction videos. So we're doing a reaction video. It's been so long since we watched this. All I remember is that the last episode was the like James and Riley go on the bus episode. Riley had to pick up the costumes and James was there and James messed it up somehow. You must be wondering, Britt, where are you? My desk used to be like back that way and I moved it here so that I could see my the view of the city behind like my window. I have a window here and that changed my positioning in the apartment so now I don't have access to the green screen anymore so I can't be in Studio A. Sorry. You guys ready to do it? Previously on the next step. I just realized I completely forgot to do the, the previously on the next step thing. So previously, previously on, on the next, next step. step. I'm starting to realize now that this probably wasn't worth it. Anyways, back to the video. Is it okay if I step out early? Emily doesn't really know my situation. I have a job because it's the only way I can afford dance. This might be the episode that Chloe has to work at a restaurant and we like all go give her money or whatever. Spoiler alert. Sorry. I kind of saw a soft side for the first time. Oh yeah, that look. I hated that look that I gave on the bus. Yes. I forgot about that. Oh, now I'm remembering why I don't do this. Why I stopped doing this because it's so cringy and I like am too self-critical when I watch these videos. And I shouldn't be because I was so young. It was my first acting job. I was be I'm being too hard on myself. Okay, I'm going to vow. I'm going to vow from here on from here forward, from here on forward that is that the saying? This point forward, from this point forward, I vow not to criticize myself. <laughs> I don't know that I can make that vow. I already know I'm gonna break it. Do you want, um... Oh yeah, these two right. dated. <laughs> Weird combination. Oh, but then Emily like kind of falls for him. Yeah, sorry, I'm gonna stop saying it. I'm just gonna let you guys watch. Yeah. I'm really nervous because I don't want her to see me in my uniform. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute how she's covering her face. Like if I'm reading a book, if I'm reading, I'm reading a book, right? Like this is my book, like this. Like if you're Michelle, wouldn't you do this? But no, she says this. <laughs> that's really cute. Your shoe's untied. <sighs> All right, James, can you... <laughs> a part of me wants to laugh, a part of me wants to disinfect my shoe. If I do something like tying her shoe, I thought maybe she would think that was really romantic. Ah, I don't like that. I don't like that he tied her shoe. <laughs> That's so weird. I mean, it's, I, this is the reaction they were looking for. Obviously, it's weird. That's weird. Why would you tie her shoe? That is so weird. Oh, that just gives me like creepy crawlies. Like anyone going to tie your shoe for you? That's such an intimate thing, isn't it? Oh, that's... His food, his food. We got him a food dispenser thingy and it like dispenses food for him every, every like, like three times a day. It dispenses a little bit of food for him. So that's what that is. Anyways. I hope the dancers can stay focused because the auditions for the solo for me. Okay, whoa. We are in the rehearsal period and I just like, half-assed a, a bat maw. Put your leg up, Brittany, what you doing? I guess it was a mark. Did she say a, did she say a mark? If she said a mark, that's probably why I, I didn't bat maw all the way. I want you guys to know that I, I can actually bat maw. I really want the solo because at regionals, there will be scouts from all over the dance world. If oh yes, okay, so this was the whole thing where they made us like, there's always a talking head period of us dancing overlaid with talking heads. And in the talking heads, we each describe a part of the rules of regionals and how to get in and whatever, mainly because, uh, 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 
sorry, mainly because the audience won't know what the competition world is like. It's like very complex and there are a lot of rules. And so to explain it, especially for a kid's show, you kind of have to spoon feed it in, in chunks instead of like one big lump sum of information or just like living in the world. This is how they chose to explain it through these talking heads. Chloe, do you know the timing? Yeah. Are you sure? Tiff. Can you share the timing on your backline part, please? Backline. Everyone else knows the moves. Why don't you know the moves? This okay. is a B troop, okay? A little more intensity. Joining in. Ugh. I kind of hate Emily when she gets into teacher mode. She's just so like, it's the it's the character. It's, she's meant to be that like kind of condescending, so that you kind of hate her. But like, she's just doing her job as dance captain. But I hate her. I don't like her. You should maybe think about going back to B troop if this is too much for you. No, A troop is where I want to be. Oh, I would hate being Chloe in this situation where I just revealed to a friend that I had to take a job to pay for dance. And then my friend's like, maybe you should go to B troop. Obviously, Michelle means well, because she's like, maybe you need to cut back on some of the some of the commitments you've made. Fair point to make. That would stress me out even more. And Ew, this was in my mouth. Do you see it? Do you see the hair? That's so gross. Sorry, I completely lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? Well, what about if I help you? If you miss a dance practice, I can teach you the routine. You want to help me? Of course, why not? Sneaky! Okay, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> this is my problem. When I was a young little actor chick, the young Britney, okay, years ago, and I didn't have any act acting training at this point. I had never even taken a class in season one. What I was trying to do in this scene, which was a mistake, was I was trying to act the thought process that I was going through. I was trying to act the thoughts. It's hard to explain, and I hope I made my point, but it, as I'm watching this, it, I'm realizing that it was quite obvious that I was like trying to put it on. That would be really awesome. When I overhear Michelle talking to Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> what was that look that I just gave? I just went, our plan is working perfectly. That's the face I just gave. <laughs> I'm, I know, I know. Remember when I said at the top of this that I vowed I vow never to not to myself. criticize myself. I know I'm being too hard on myself, but I, I can't help it. I see a flaw, I have to point it out and I have to fix it. And because I can't fix this, it's bothering me. <sighs> I have my mind now set on making her dance captain. We really need to reproach her. <laughs> I love how previously Michelle was like, no, I don't want to do it. And now I'm like, no, 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 my mind's set. No, she's gonna do it. No, we have to approach her again, is what I said. I'm glad that I threw that in because otherwise it sounded like I was gonna force her to do it against her will. <gasps> that would be a completely different episode. We kidnap her, we put, we put, we, we like drug her and then we, we hypnotize her maybe. Maybe we hire a hypnotist to, you know, get her to do what it is that we want her to do. And we, and you know, like we tell her, oh, you need to be, you need to be dance captain. Damn, I was kind of hoping that would trail into something funny, but it didn't. I'm off my game. You guys got to give me some time to get back into this. Excuse me. <laughs> West and I are at the studio after hours because we're working on our solo audition piece. Oh my God, I forgot about Brennan's eyebrows. <laughs> Scared me for a second there. They're so like this. They're like this. Luckily they grew back. They look way better now. Something else I've noticed that the show does that every kid show kind of has to do or like family show, show that's for a younger audience is that they will repeat information. When Wes said to Daniel, I have, I have magic, magic feet. feet. And then they cut to his talking head being like, I don't I really magic have magic feet, feet. But, but I'm hoping Daniel that Daniel doesn't, doesn't know that, that so, really so that I can intimidate him. That's obviously what Wes's intention was. And we kind of knew that in the, the cadence and the way that he kind of said it, but they do it so that they can repeat information to a, the younger audience. Their attention span isn't as long and they don't retain information at the same speed that an adult would. Talking Heads is a great way to do that. Sort of like step the kids, step the kiddies along, step the children along the episode. What's happening? Here's what happens. And then this happens. And just in case you missed it, that happened. Kind of spurring on my fire. I'm going to work that much harder. Did you see Brennan's face? That shift. <laughs> You crazy, Daniel. That's where the, the the evil Daniel comes out and then he becomes the villain next season, I think. I don't remember, but I know he becomes the villain at some point. Why don't you just tell Emily about your situation? Are you kidding me? 
I can't tell Emily what I'm doing. Are you kidding me? I can't tell Emily what I'm doing. It was way closer than I was expecting. <laughs> you know what? I do miss the messiness of like the intentional messiness. It's, it's messy on purpose. It's supposed to look almost like a documentary. And I miss that. I miss that. I feel like the next step kind of got rid of that style of shooting as the years went on because it sort of turned into a formula because it was way easier to shoot. We had, we would have no time to film scenes. And so to get creative like that would be more and more difficult. It just like feels more like we're there. No, I'm covering for you. I don't care. It's fine. Thank you so much. Of course, no problem. Thanks. Of course. Okay, let's get back to this. Yeah. Because I have you guys, have you, Whoa. Have you guys ever just listened to the music in the background? It changes throughout the scene, which obviously for anyone who doesn't know that to change your emotional connection with the scene. So if it's a sad scene, they're going to play the sad music over the top. For example, this was very inspirational and motivational. It was like, yes, Michelle is helping her friend out. A friendship, a bond has begun. And this is the start of that bond. And this is why Michelle's a better dance captain. And, and yeah, uh, uh, excuse me. Whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> Why am I being so weird? I just wish that I wouldn't act everything. What I didn't know back then was that the moments where I'm just doing nothing, so to speak, I, could, I didn't have to do anything, but I was, I was like doing stuff. I don't know how to explain it. I was like, I was choosing to to like make the moment something as an actor instead of just keeping it casual, I guess is a good way to put it. <sighs> do you guys know what I'm trying to say? I hope you do. Yeah. We kind of overheard your conversation a little bit. How are you yeah. gonna help her with the moves? I'm worried. How are you gonna help her with the moves? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm doing pretty, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm not even gonna criticize anything because I'm doing great. That was yeah. awfully um, leader-ish. You. Guys, I'm just trying to be kind. kind. <laughs> Guys, I'm just trying to be kind. <laughs> that was so cute. That was so sweet. And she's like mad about it. Like, I'm just trying to be kind, okay? I'm not trying to be a leader. I'm just naturally a great leader, okay? I can't help it, okay? I'm just trying to be kind. And a leader. Because I am a leader. I was born a leader, okay? That doesn't mean that I should be one, though. I do believe in myself. I just... Things have just settled down. Things never settle down completely with my sister. They're going to boil back up again. Come on, you know you're the right choice. You'd be perfect for it. Perfect. You, you have to replace her now before things get worse. No. Okay, so you can definitely tell that we improvised the scene for many reasons. One, we're not giving any kind of breaks between what we're saying, which works because it's a conversation and it's how a conversation would actually sound. And I also miss that too. I like the I like the like natural cadence of conversation that came from season one because we were improvising. Problem with improvising is that like when we when you're given dialogue, you're given specific lines for that do a specific job that pr progress the story forward in a specific way. I think the reason why they got rid of the improv is because the writers know better about how to structure dialogue in the scene to get the scene progressing in, a, in an active way towards, you know, the shift that's supposed to be happening in that scene. And so that's why I can tell that this is improv and it, and it feels very natural, which is good, but I don't know that, like, I'm just saying the same things over and over again and expecting different results and nothing's nothing ha is changing. We're not actually convincing her. Now, what I would do differently is I would probably predetermine some of the things that I would say to try to convince her and be surprising at the same time. Cause that's something different is you want the dialogue to be surprising. You don't want the audience to expect what they're gonna say and have their expectations met completely. You want them, you wanna surprise them. The reason why I'm explaining all of this is because that's probably why the writers kind of took more control over the dialogue over the seasons because we're not writers. We're barely really actors in this. We're dancers first and we were just being ourselves. And then they sort of learned who these characters were through the first season really. And then they were able to give us proper dialogue from that point forward. I need you guys to also tell me if you like the kind of tidbits of behind the scenes stuff that I'm giving you, or if you just want me to react to the drama that's going on in the show. I like, I want to kind of give you guys what you want with these videos and I don't want to bore you with technical stuff. Yeah. Alden, could you put my bag in my cubby? Yeah. 
After you. Thanks. Ew, 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 ew. I don't like that. I don't, I hate this Emily and Eldon dynamic thing. Oh, I just don't like that Eldon thinks that that's what he has to be to get her to like him. That kind of sucks. I can't remember if this happens or not, but I really want to see Eldon kind of like stand up for himself. I treat you like a queen and I deserve the same treatment back. You know? Treat me like a queen too, okay? Good luck trying to beat that. You and your magic feet, watch this. Oh no, Brennan. <laughs> you and your magic feet, watch this. <laughs> uh, it works, because Daniel's kind of an ass. I feel just a rush of anger, adrenaline, and drive. Anger, adrenaline, and drive. <laughs> Why those three things, I don't know. And also he's so smiley in his performance. That's why That's why I think that like two-faced thing works really well for Daniel because he is hinting at this like deep-seated like frustration at the world because he's not getting what he wants. Yet he's also putting on this face of like, I'm really happy and excited and just driven. I'm just driven, you know? But this, there's like this under-rooted like weird demon, Daniel demon. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> the ankle. We have to amplify things for the sake of the drama and to like, again, really hone in certain story beats. I'm just gonna walk it off and hope for the best. I hope it's not too serious. <laughs> we all know what happens after that. Am I right? The only thing that Brennan ever gets comments the most about on any social media platform is, how's your ankle, Daniel? But I uh, would urge you all to go onto any one of his social media platforms, his TikTok, his Instagram, his YouTube. Comment as much as you possibly can. Britt wants to know how your ankle's doing. I want all of you right now. You can pause the video do and do that. Thank you. Like, why don't we rehearse right now? I would love to rehearse. Oh yeah, I forgot Daniel's not about the drama, but is secretly the most dramatic out of everyone. <laughs> Do you still want me to be dance captain? I'm sick of Emily's attitude and it's time for someone to step in and be a true leader. That was a share looks moment. We finished the scene. She says, do you still want me to be dance captain? They told us not to say anything else after that point. And, but we had to hold on to that moment because they knew that they wanted to cut in between talking heads and like push into Michelle staring at us. And so we just had to sit there like, For a long time. Guys, I'm just trying to be kind. Again, I'm sorry for taking such a long break. I'm gonna try and get back to like sort of regularly posting. I can't post weekly again because I have other stuff going on and well, I don't need to explain to you. Thank you for watching. Um, next episode, <laughs> I have no idea what happens. I genuinely am so lost as, as to this season and what exists in it. We discuss many things in this episode. We discuss some technical elements of like how and why they choose to put certain scenes into this. We talked about Daniel's ankle. We also talked about, you know, Michelle and Emily, of course, battling it out as per usual. We also talked about Chloe and her predicament, predicament with her predicament with, with money and how she doesn't have any of it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, share, with your friends, comment down below, anything you want. Just say, hey, how you doing? Please tell me other videos that you wanna see me do because I wanna do more of this, but I don't know what, I don't know, I don't know what. That's the day, bye. That was the sign off. I still feel like it doesn't work here though, because it's not a day. <laughs>